<laughs> Look at all the crawlers. The crawlers are the only ones that survive. They're just like cockroaches, man. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Seven Days of Night on Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and we are getting ready to start Horde Night 112 in the new base. So we already have some early, early customers here. Uh, I made a couple changes to the base. If you guys remember, I had a bar coming across here, and I tested some throws, and I thought it was too risky, because if I land a bomb in here, I'm dead. Uh, so I, I removed that, and instead I put some hatches, and you can see a vertical um, uh, electric fence there to uh, prevent uh, jumpers, and um, you know that way I have a much clearer throw. Now, if I land a bomb right down at the hatch there, um, I, I'm still okay as long as I get all the way back in this corner, so it won't kill me, okay? Um, but what's going to happen here is the zombies are all going to just pile up. I do have the door open, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, pile up there at the hatch, and when we get a group of them, I throw the bomb, blow them up, repair the hatch, wash, rinse, repeat. Uh, you can see I'm about 75% of the way to the next level, so let's see how many levels we get tonight. Maybe watch the uh, experience bar and just see how fast it comes up tonight. Let's get a little bit bigger group here. All right, let's just do a little touch up here. So grenades have a, um, you know, a higher radius. Did that guy puke? Then uh, pipe bombs. So I'm thinking for the next time we'll we'll use we might start using grenades. Uh, but I might have to extend this back a little further because I'm just barely five blocks away from that block there. And these are, you know, four block radius on the pipes here. Let's just let them build up a little more. I've got a ton of pipe bombs, though. I mean, just a bazillion. See, look at my inventory here. <laughs> yeah, that, we're going to get some serious XP tonight, you guys. This is going to be awesome. All right. Well, enjoy the show. Hey, we got our first demo. All right, we got to get him blown up because he does lots of damage quick. Uh, we got some big bad guys in there. They are tearing that hatch apart. Oh, man. Had a game freeze there for a second. Yeah, they were ripping through that hatch like a freaking hot knife through butter, man.
All right. We got more levels. We got our two bonus levels at 70, so we're actually at six levels now, you guys. That's amazing. It's not even midnight yet, and we've already gotten two levels out of this base. <laughs> oh, I love it. level just past midnight It's morning. 
right, let's take care of the rest of these yahoos. Since they don't have to run all the way up from bedrock, it shouldn't take us long at all to clear the rest of them out here. So this horde was interesting because all of the, what I've, you know, started calling super monsters were on the front end of the horde. And then the rest of the night was just normal, you know, I mean, they were, they were feral and stuff, but uh, no cops, nothing beyond, you know, like spiders and ferals for the whole rest of the night. Um, hugely successful. It uh, met all of my expectations. And uh, we almost uh, are at the next level. So we'll take a look at all of that here in a second. And we got uh, some bags in there to deal with too. So I think that's it except for maybe a crawler or two. All right. Let's head on out. We'll turn a fence off. We, they, they didn't even tap the electric fence once. Looks like there's a little bit of damage out here, but nothing, nothing to really worry about. Look at all the crawlers. The crawlers are the only ones that survive. They're just like cockroaches, man. <laughs> That's interesting. Very interesting. I think I hear another one in here, too. Yeah. How about that, man? Look at that. The crawlers are the ones that survived. Uh, who'd have thunk? I guess they're just down low enough to miss the explosions. Okay, let's get our luckies on. And... Uh, we're going to take some eye candy, too, and see what we got here. Look at the bags. Okay, come on, give us something good. All right. That's pretty good stuff. That's really good stuff, actually. Wow. I'll take it. I will take it. Some canned food. Amyo Nishin. Those are pretty good, even though we already have some that I've never actually used. <laughs> um, nice for selling. Okay. More night vision goggles. And we're out of space. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to drop the jars. All right. Um, oh, I th did we need these? I think we need these, you guys. Do we? No, we need the hands. We need the hands. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do now? Let's see here. What do we want to drop? Well, we don't want to drop anything. Um, do we have room? Room in the bike, actually. I think we do. Oh, we got... Ooh, wow. Our, they did some damage there. Okay, we'll have to kind of maybe beef that up a little bit more. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, I'm going to drop off... I want to keep stuff that I need to repair. We can put the pipe bombs in here. That's probably the, the best prize that we got so far. Okay, let's get the rest of this before it disappears. And this one, and then we'll see if there's any down below. Yep, there are. We had some dirt, but see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna line all that too. I just didn't get that far. I mean, I was, I was basically down to the wire. <laughs> the last thing I put in place was like literally seconds before I started the recording. That's how close we were. But hey, I'm very pleased, guys, with, with how this uh, how the base worked out. Um, no major damage anywhere. Um, all the Almost all the damage was focused on these hatches uh, in this one in particular, and I had no problem keeping up with it. It was, it was losing health or whatever, health very quickly when we had you know very early on when we had some of the super monsters in uh place but uh we managed to to keep it but remember i've got the i've got the electric fences too and one thing i maybe should do is 
carry an extra steel vault with me. And if we lose that one, you know, then we blow the zombies up and we have a couple of seconds to put a new one in place. So I should probably start doing that. But yeah, very, very pleased with how this, this base works. So what's left to do is we're going to, we're going to line all of this. I don't know. I might not line the back wall, but definitely going to line this area here uh, with, with probably just reinforced concrete. We'll see. Oh, oh look, they blocked themselves from getting up there. Uh, so we'll do that, and uh, probably uh, this, I might upgrade more in here to steel. I don't know that we really need to. I mean, there's some damage there, but, I mean, all the damage is focused on this front wall and in this area. So it's probably not super necessary uh, to do that, but we might anyways, um, you know, it, it's really, it's the super monsters that can just very very rapidly you know damage a block and uh we'll probably see more of those as we continue to you know progress in game stage and stuff like that so it's not going to be a bad thing for me to to make this as strong as we can um and maybe even a few blocks will upgrade even to polished steel uh, but yeah just really happy with how things turned out so i want to um i want to try something here let me uh, let me look in the bike for a second. I don't have any. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the house, and we're gonna we're gonna do a test. And this test might kill me. Uh, and if it does, uh, it doesn't count because I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, but what I want to do is I want to throw a grenade in uh, that in the little pocket there and see if it's gonna if it's gonna kill me. If it doesn't then we're probably good to keep things the way they are. If it does, then I'm going to have to extend the back of the, uh, you know, of our little cage a little further. Okay, so let's grab these nades. Um, let me just put a few things away, and then I'll meet you guys back over there. Okay, we're back. So let's go in here. And we're basically going to just chuck this grenade right here in the pocket and see if we are still safe back here. And if this kills me, then, you know, it's for science, okay? So let's try it. It does not. Okay, that's great. What if we chuck it there and we're just straight back this way? Nope, doesn't touch us. Perfect. Okay, so um, I don't think we need to change anything at all then. I don't think we need to change anything at all. You know, honestly, though, the the pipe bombs are just kicking ass and they're so much cheaper to make i don't even know if we need to make grenades but um yeah i don't know it's, it's seen the thing about the explosions too the explosion design is the the zombies build up you kill them and then you're really kind of just waiting around until they build up again it, it's not efficient to 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 kill one at a time with explosives and the pipe bombs are doing the job, so I don't even know that we need grenades. But at least it's nice to know that we can use them, and I don't have to change anything. So this design even works with the grenades, as long as, you know, it's not any closer than that block. Um, because we are, you know, we're, we are five blocks away from it um, when it's in there. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm probably going to just stick with the pipe bombs for now, and, unless I start seeing that... Uh, we need a little more firepower, and then we can start making grenades, and maybe we'll we'll make grenades later on. Okay, let's take a look at points here. So we have, uh, we made, uh, or earned rather, five. No, we earned three points in total tonight, um, but almost to the next level. I had two to start with. You get uh, a bonus two points when you uh, hit, you know, the 10. So we just hit 70, and we'll get more bonus points at 80 and more at 90, etc. Right? Um, so... So we earned almost four points uh, tonight, which is not bad at all. Um, and so what we're going to do with those points is we're going to go in. Um, well, you know what? Let's go back to the base. I want to. I want to get my. Um, I want to get my tough guy sunglasses because we're going to need those to finish this out. And then uh, we'll talk about what we're going to do moving forward with the rest of the points. which I'm not entirely sure at this stage what 
what I'm going to do yet. i got to give it some thought. Because I've just been focused on, you know, fortitude the whole time. Um, I think our tough guy sunglasses are in here, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, let's just put those on for a second. That might be a screamer. Okay, so uh, let's go to fortitude. And we're going to buy the this ninth point. And now we have an effective tint in fortitude. Uh, that by itself... Um, deal 300% headshot damage and a 50% chance to dismember with fists and machine guns. Okay, so that's going to make our assault rifle and uh, the M60, which I'm probably going to start carrying around here, uh, very effective. I mean, a 50% chance to dismember, guys, is <laughs> that's nothing to balk at. Okay, so we got that. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take Living Off the Land level 5. And oh my goodness, we have been waiting a long, long time to get to this point. What this allows us to do is make irrigation pipes, uh, irrigation pumps and pipes. And that means I will no longer have to replenish the water in the garden. It'll stay perpetually watered. So that's going to be its own episode coming up that we'll do. Uh, we can also now breed pigs, chickens, rabbits, and stags. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, so we'll have to figure it out. And fish in our own fishing pond. So I'm guessing there's something that we can craft that'll be like a little pond that we set down and then we can fish directly in it. So that's just amazing, man. That is so fan-freaking-tastic that we, that we got that. Okay, we still have three points left. So um, I think we're going to stay in the fortitude tree. And we're going to pump pain tolerance and healing factor. Maybe iron gut too. Not so much for the food metabolism, but more, you know, busts from consumables last 30% longer. Um, so like when we're mining and using blackstrap coffee and stuff like that, um, that wouldn't be a bad one to go into. Not worried about cardio because, you know, we're, we're, ha we have motorized vehicles now, so we're not really running uh, per se. So I'm not worried about that. Well, that's late is never a big deal. You can always, you know, take care of that with just your clothing. So, yeah, pain tolerance and healing factor. Um, we're going to pump these, and we're probably going to max them all the way out. Okay, so let's start by maxing out pain tolerance. And then we will max out healing factor for our next three points. So that gives us iron chin. So basically, we reduce hit point loss by 25% and have a 50% less chance to get stunned. So that's going to really... Go a long ways in helping us survive and not, you know, uh, not get get killed. Uh, so healing factor again. Uh, we're going to put these next three points in here. When that's finished, we might put some more points at Iron God. I haven't decided yet. And then from there, we'll figure out what the next uh, move is for our points. All right, guys. Uh, super happy with how how the the horde night went. Um, that was a lot of work. You know, building that base in the time that I had to build it. And I literally, like I said, <laughs> I, mean, I was down to like the last final, I don't know, 15 seconds uh, putting that thing together. And, and, you know, again, we're not finished with it. We got we got all the critical stuff in place, of course, but there's more to do. And I think I already uh, explained to you what my plan is um, for the rest of that base. OK, I think I'm going to take a couple of end game days off. I, I just got to kind of, you know, regroup, resituate around here uh i gotta i gotta palletize i got so many much stone and iron and stuff i gotta palletize stuff get organized um and then when i bring you guys back in the next episode which again will probably be a couple two or three in-game days from now um irrigation setup is the next thing on the list okay guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye